Yo guys, if you're looking to pick up some Madden Mobile Coins, make sure to head on over to the coin store. They have insanely cheap rates, they deliver your coins really fast, and also you can use my code DUCK at checkout for 10% off of your entire order. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Boy the Gamer back again with another video. Now in today's video, I am super, super excited to tell you guys that the premiere or sort of like the preview of Madden Mobile Most Feared is here. Of course, it is Friday the 13th, such just like a coincidence you have Most Feared. Um, I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose, but Most Feared on Friday the 13th. I mean, honestly, the Friday the 13th is such an iconic day, and it's pretty cool that Mad Mobile um, actually decided to do something on it for the Mo's Fear preview. Now, I have literally done nothing for this um, because I wanted to kind of do it with you guys, so I'd go through and explain um, sort of what I'm thinking, and then honestly, and then of course, show you guys uh, the rewards that I get and how I think it might be used in the game. Maybe it's going to tell us how it's going to be used, but um, these should be super, super easy to do. I'm literally not even going to touch anything, and he's only going to get a few yards, so I'm pretty sure... Um, that these game modes are super easy to do just choose any play that's suggested and you're pretty much gonna win it um but honestly i'm super super excited for most fear to come out <laughs> I didn't even do anything and I got an interception. Um, but most feared usually is when um, they start releasing like the 94 overalls. Because I think last year um, the master or the hero was 94 overall Brian Erlacher. Now don't quote me on this, but I believe that's who it was. But if I'm honest, I think last year uh, was when they released the first 94. It was during BCA. So maybe well, this year we'll get our first 94 overall um, during most feared. Because I think last year it was 94 overall D'Angelo Williams. Because that was the first hero that I did all year. And I was super excited to get him him um but i'm not sure about the uh the rating this year maybe it'll be 93 94 maybe 95 i'm not sure um i can't seem to get this for some reason but um it shouldn't be too hard maybe i'll just stop uh boiling the ball tyra kill thank you very much but usually this promo is mainly a defensive promo just because um uh, it's most feared you know the defense is usually what's really scary and all that stuff so they're I don't even know if there's any um, offensive players in this promo, but mainly I know for a fact that this is a defense-based promo just because, once again, the defense, it's a scary kind of promo. The defense is obviously big and scary. And last year, what they actually did, if I have any screenshots, I'll make sure to put them on screen right now. Um, they actually made the most feared players. I'm not sure if those are just uh, the elite players or what, but they made the most feared players like actual giants. It was crazy. Um, the players in game were like 10 feet tall compared to like the other players. So it was really cool. And they actually made the gameplay a little bit different. The gameplay wasn't like any different. Just the player um, sort of characters were a little bit altered uh, due to the promo. So that was really cool. Uh, a cool thing that they did. So hopefully they'll bring back that for this year. And then of course, as you guys know, the meme, the smoke, the fog, the vape nation that occurred last year. Um, if you guys weren't around last year, uh, basically, I, I'm pretty sure I can find a video of mine put on screen. Um, what they did is they had uh, further packs and just the, the Madden Mobile in general. I think the gameplay, it wasn't uh, in the gameplay. But what they had is like a constant smoke effect. In the first few days that it came out, it was super strong. And it was just like like smoke and vape all over the screen. It was super funny. Um, but eventually, they did turn it down a bit. Because honestly, it was lagging people's games. So pe some people couldn't even play the game due to the fact that there was so much smoke and vape on the screen. Um, but hopefully, they do something like that again this year. Maybe not to the, the crazy extent that it was last year. But still something um, where it's, it's a bit spookier, a bit different from the normal Mad Mobile. Because honestly, Color Rush... It was an okay promo, but really nothing changed in the game. We got a few new players and a few new packs, but that's really the only thing that happened in the game. Nothing else changed. There was nothing in the packs. There was nothing um, in the home screen, anything like that. So hopefully Mad Mobile... Okay. Okay okay yeah maybe we can actually get it this time um hopefully mad mobile is going to do something a, a bit more special compared to color rush because i was really really excited for the bca this year but unfortunately as you guys know um nfl didn't partner with the bca program so we got color rush i mean it wasn't a bad promo um in general but honestly it just it just wasn't what bca has always lived up to so hopefully most feared can really make up for that and have a really awesome promo uh, but now we got a most feared carnival pack i didn't even think we were gonna have to i thought we we're gonna have to play one more so we got the most feared carnival pack let's see what it is and let's see if we can even get any more i don't think we can i think we're just going to be able to get one most feared carnival pass um but boom there we go looks like a scary old ticket most feared carnival pass collectible so my thinking on this is that this is probably going to go towards an elite player now i i don't know because once again i i can't i don't work for ea don't know what's going on behind the scenes but usually what happens with these collectibles is you'll need around like 10 to 15 maybe even like 20 gold collectibles and then maybe like uh anywhere from 5 to 10 
10 elite collectibles and then you'll trade that in for an elite player pack because i think um of the thanksgiving promo last year that's what they did they had like turkey and they had their stuffing and they had a bunch of gold uh, collectibles and then they had your elite collectibles and you took those collectibles um put them all into one big set and got an elite uh thanksgiving player so i don't know if it's going to be like that this year and let me just go and check i don't think i can get any more um it would be cool nope the live event is gone unfortunately um but it was cool while i was there and it was a really fun live event to play um so if you guys have not already done this i think it's out for three whole days so make sure to go ahead and play the most feared uh preview live event it'll get you free carnival pass that i think is going to help you guys get a free uh gold or elite player because honestly unless it's a, like a pass for some sort of live event or tournament or something like that i have no clue what else to be used for so in my opinion uh the most likely possibility or the most likely uh outcome of that carnival ticket is that it's gonna end up being used for an elite player of some sort or some sort of reward for you guys not just um like an actual pass or something if it was a pass i hope it's a pass or something cool because of course this year with the carnival theme um they're making it maybe where there's like a fun house or i don't know i'm just trying to brainstorm some ideas maybe on the live event map there'll be something cool or maybe um instead of the color rush because the color rush is now gone as you guys know um it used to be basically where this marketplace is the color rush live event or the color rush event was there so maybe they'll have a whole new sort of um location like a banner thing you click on it and it's like the color rush you have to go through a maze or maybe go through a carnival or something like that so maybe that's your entry fee or your entry ticket into the carnival um but once again i don't know maybe it's that maybe it's something with an elite player so really we're just trying to like make up something and hopefully it's true um but honestly those are probably the two most likely scenarios is that one it's uh goes towards an elite player pack which would be really cool and it really cool if it's auctionable but pretty pretty much it's not going to be auctionable because it's ea and it's just mad mobile this year the second idea that i have is that they'll have once again sort of this uh new banner um where the color rush live event stuff was they'll have that uh right there and then you can click on it and maybe you need that collectible to go ahead and do all the stuff maybe maybe not i'm not even sure if they're gonna have an area hopefully they will uh but once again i really hope this promo is really sick i I, we can always hope for coin packs it's probably not going to happen because if it didn't happen in color rush it might not happen uh this time but if there are uh coin packs like unlimited coin packs or a lot of coin packs i'd really like it if ea could do that because then we would actually have you know content to make we could do pack openings uh when there's not specific content in certain days um but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did learn something new make sure you go ahead and drop a like if you are new to the channel as well and you want to make sure you see some uh most feared content on my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe subscribe button it's a huge all right button you really can't miss it so click that button if you want to see some more most feared content when i start uploading it in a few days when most fear does come out but yeah other than that it has been boy and dr the gamer and i will see you guys in the next video peace